few people in this world will revolutionize one industry. Steve Jobs revolutionized several, computing, telecommunications, music, and movies. Since he had such a profound impact on the world, I think it's fair to ask ourselves, how did he do it? And more importantly, how can we learn to unleash our inner Steve Jobs, to advance our business, our careers, and the world? In my research as an author, I've identified seven principles that drove Steve Jobs and Apple's success. Principle number one, do what you love. Steve Jobs taught us that you cannot come up with new, innovative, and exciting products unless you're inspired yourself and passionate about moving society forward. Steve Jobs once said, people with passion can change the world for the better. Life is too short, he said, for living someone else's dream. And if you haven't found your passion, he said, keep looking, don't settle. Principle two, put a dent in the universe. Steve Jobs believed in the power of vision, and he certainly had a big vision. In the mid-1970s, when computers were relegated to a small group of hobbyists, Steve Jobs was convinced that he could put a computer in the hands of everyday people. And so he challenged his co-founder, Steve Wozniak, and the Apple team to create a computer that everyday people would feel comfortable using. Eventually, that led to the computer that changed everything, the Macintosh. In 1984, the Mac helped Apple get closer to the vision that Steve Jobs had first articulated nearly 10 years earlier. Principle three, connect things to spark your creativity. Steve Jobs once said that creativity is just connecting things. He meant that people with a broad set of experiences can often see things that others miss. Jobs often connected ideas from completely different fields. For example, he studied calligraphy in college. Calligraphy had no practical application to his life, but he was interested in it. He was passionate about it. Later, his calligraphy experience would find its way into the Mac, the first computer with beautiful fonts and typeface. Creativity is connecting things from different fields. Principle four, say no to 1,000 things. Steve Jobs was today, proud, of course, of what I'd Apple like did. To just say but he was also proud of what Apple that chose not to do. Steve Jobs once said that innovation comes from saying no to 1,000 things. I believe this speaks to simplicity. You see, in Apple's world, simplicity is the elimination of clutter. So anything that clutters the user experience is eliminated. That's why there's only one button on the front of an iPad or why there's no built-in keyboard on an iPhone. Apple's products are popular because they're simple, they're elegant, they're easy to use. But it all started from Steve Jobs asking that one question, what can we remove? Principle five, create insanely different experiences. Steve Jobs created many product innovations, of course, but he also innovated around the customer service experience. And I think that's a big part of his legacy, might not be fully appreciated. The Apple stores make more money per square foot than most any other retailer, including many luxury brands. And they're packed morning to night. The average store sees 17,000 visitors every week. When Steve Jobs first came up with the concept for the Apple stores, he said they would be different because instead of just moving boxes, the stores would enrich lives instead. So everything about the experience you have when you walk into an Apple store is intended to enrich your life and to create an emotional connection between you and the Apple brand. Principle six, master the message. You can have the greatest idea in the world, but if you can't communicate your ideas, it doesn't matter. Steve Jobs was the world's greatest corporate storyteller. Instead of simply delivering a presentation like most people do, he informed, he educated, he inspired, he entertained, all in one presentation. I wrote an entire book on Steve Jobs and his communications techniques, but if there's one thing that I think you could do today to be more Steve Jobs-like, it's to do this. Think visually. There were very few words on a Steve Jobs slide. That's a philosophy called picture superiority. It simply means that people are more likely to remember information when it's presented as words and pictures instead of just words alone. You know, I think it's impossible to watch a Steve Jobs presentation without completely rethinking your current one. Finally, principle seven, sell dreams, not products. 
You know, Steve Jobs captured our imagination because he really understood his customer. In 1997, when Apple was close to bankruptcy, Steve Jobs said he would reduce the number of products that Apple sold to satisfy the needs of their core customers. At the time, he said, some people think you've got to be crazy to buy a Mac, but in that craziness, we see genius. And those are the people we're making tools for. Your customers don't care about your product, but they do care about themselves, their hopes, their dreams, their ambitions. Steve Jobs taught us if you help your customers reach their dreams, you'll win them over. There's one story that I think sums up Steve Jobs' life and career. An executive who had the job of reinventing the Disney store once called Steve Jobs and asked for advice. Steve's advice, dream bigger. I think that's the best advice he would give us today. Dream bigger. See genius in your craziness. Believe in yourself. Believe in your vision. And be constantly prepared to defend those ideas. Because it's those ideas that could potentially change the world.